everyone, and welcome back to EC Cooking with Linda B. Today, I'm going to make one of our favorite appetizers. I'm going to make bruschetta. Now, I make it with three different toppings, but my typical is with tomato. But I'll show you how I make them and how I put it all together. So what you need to do first is make your crostini. So what I have here is French bread. And I went ahead and I cut the bread. And I cut it on the bias. So now, unfortunately, sometimes with French bread or a lot of breads, there's holes in the center. So you just have to work around that. So I have them cut just like this, about a quarter of an inch thick. Okay, so now what I will be using to make this crostini is olive oil. Now I have here garlic, and you can tell it's somewhat golden in color. I have already put this in a saucepan on very low heat, and I let this steep the garlic in the oil so I get that garlic-infused flavor. So I'm going to remove the garlic for now. I'll use that in my recipe, and I'll show you what we do with that. So for seasonings, I'm going to be using dill weed and parsley. And also, I'm going to be using onion powder and garlic powder, salt and pepper. So the first thing I need to do is line up my baking sheet. Right now, I have a few too many for this sheet, which is okay, because I could do this in stages or just use a larger sheet. Get them all spread out like this. Now you see this one has a hole in it. This may not work well for me, so I'm going to take that one out of the equation. So this one's not too bad. So the first thing I will do is take my basting brush and I'm going to coat each crostini with the oil. I'm going to put it on generously because what I'm going to do after I put the seasoning on is I will put these in the oven and I'm gonna bake them until they're crispy. Once I get all the oil spread out, I'll come back and show you what we do next. Okay, so I have all my French bread coated with the oil. So it doesn't matter what order you use. I'm going to take my powders, this being the onion powder, lift it up high so it gives it a good spread. So now I did the onion powder. Now I'm going to do the garlic powder. It's going to soak up in that oil and adhere to the bread, which is what I want it to do. Parsley, no, I'm sorry, dill. And parsley. And of course you can use whatever seasonings you like. It doesn't have to be exactly what I'm using here but you really do want to make sure you get that garlic flavor in there. Then one other thing I want to do is I forgot to tell you this. I'm going to use my Parmesan Reggiano, get the fresh block here, and I'm going to microplane that right on top of the bread. I want to make sure the bread has the flavor too. So I just go through, same thing. So my oven is now preheated to 300 and 50 degrees. I'm using convection bake. If you don't use convection bake, set your oven temperature to about 375. So what I'm going to do now at this point is I'm going to take the crostini and I'm going to put it in my oven and I think it's only going to need about 10 minutes. But if it needs a little bit more, I'll let it go. I want to get it nice and golden and crispy and crunchy. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here are the crostini. They came out beautiful. They're golden, crisp, and crunchy. Now, I'm only working with five because I'm going to show you three different toppings. So, oh, and by the way, they only were in the oven for eight minutes. It's all they needed. So the first topping I want to make is my tomato topping. So I have here a, about three small tomatoes that I've chopped up. I've also put them in a strainer to render out as much water as possible because you don't want it soggy. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to add my seasonings. I'm going to put in a little bit of salt, pepper, 
dill. I love dill. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Whoa, that I may have put a little too much. Maybe not. And also parsley. Oh, there's one other thing I forgot. You also need olive oil with this. So you're going to pour a little bit of olive oil on top. So the garlic that I had originally cooked in that oil to infuse the flavor, I chopped up. I'm going to add that into here. Use that all up. I don't want to waste anything. And again, I'm going to use my Parmesan Reggiano. This will also help to soak up any liquid that's still in the tomatoes. Okay, so I'm going to give this a nice mix. Make sure everything is coated. And then, of course, you could always add more seasoning. And I will taste it to make sure I have enough. I have enough salt in there. It needs something. I think I'm going to add a little more Parmesan. Or a lot more. Okay. Mix this up. On this plate, I have fresh mozzarella cheese that I cut thin. And I try to keep it the size of the crostini. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to cover my crostini with the mozzarella. The reason why I'm doing this first is when I put the tomatoes on it, the mozzarella will protect the bread from getting all soggy. So I'm going to take a slice and put it on each bread, just like that. And now with a clean spoon, I'm going to take my topping and put it on top of the mozzarella, just like this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to top the next four. Okay, so now my crostinis are topped with the tomatoes. I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Now I'm going to put it in the oven and I'm going to let them bake probably starting out with 10 minutes. I want the mozzarella cheese to get soft, ooey gooey and melted. And I want the tomatoes to cook down just a little bit. I'll show you what they look like when they come out of the oven. Okay, and here they are. As you can see, the uh, mozzarella cheese is all soft, ooey gooey looking, and the tomatoes are cooked. I will taste this at the end. Now I want to show you what I'm going to work on next. I have five more crostinis here, and this time I'm going to work with spinach. I love spinach. I think most of you know that by now. What I have here is some frozen spinach that I had thawed and squeezed dry because you really don't want that wet again for the crostinis because it'll sog the bread up. You don't want that. So in here, I'm going to add some salt, pepper. I have a feeling I'm going to add a little more salt. You really can tolerate the salt. Definitely garlic powder and onion powder. And olive oil. And now what I'm going to do is mix this all together. Make sure I get the seasoning spread out. Okay, and what I have in this Pyrex dish is cream cheese. As you can see, it's very soft. That I cut up into very small cubes. I'm going to mix that in with the spinach. So I'm going to mix this all together and then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, so now I have my mixture all set 
And again, I'm going to put this on top of my crostini. And then when I top that, because I'm going to do the rest, I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic powder on the top just to get that flavor. Put them in the oven, and I'm going to bake them probably for about six minutes or more. But I'll let you know how long it took, and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Okay, and here they are. I would like to drizzle just a little bit of oil on top of it just to give it a little added moisture. And there they are. I know they're going to be good, so we'll taste them at the end. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go on and show you my next topping. Okay, so I have my last five crostini right here. Yesterday, Bob made us tuna fish for lunch, and this is what we have left over. So I'm going to do a version of like a tuna melt. So the tomatoes that I used earlier for the topping, I'm going to put right into the tuna fish. Not a lot. And then I'm going to mix that together. So that looks delicious right there. And then I'm going to add some cheddar jack cheese. I'm just using shredded. Mix that in. Okay, now take my spoon. Just like I did with the other ones, I'm going to top each crostini with a tuna. Put on a little bit of parsley flakes and top it with just a little more of the cheddar jack cheese. Just a little topping on there like that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest, put them in the oven. I think this one I'm going to probably bake for about six to seven minutes. Oh, and by the way, the um, spinach, they did go in the oven for six minutes. It was all it needed. So now I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Okay, and here are the tuna milk crostinis. Can't wait to try them. So I'm going to put them all together, take a picture, and then I'm going to come in for a taste test and let you know how they are. Now it's time for a taste test. So I'm going to put just a little bit of oil, olive oil on top. So I'm going to start out with my favorite, which is the tomato. Mmm. Mmm. That mozzarella cheese makes it so creamy and smooth. And the sharpness of the tomato with the seasoning on it, it's just perfect. Okay, now I'm going to try the spinach. This is with the cream cheese. Mmm. Mm hmm. Well seasoned, and you get the cream cheese that gives it that nice full body flavor. Now I'm going to go in for the patty melt, or I should say the tuna melt. Mmm. Delicious. They're all good. They're perfect. So remember, you can always use whatever topping you like. You can do like a spinach or an artichoke. You can do like an olive tapenade. You can really make anything you want to put on a crostini. So I hope you enjoyed watching my video of me making these three different bruschettas. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Remember, enjoy life and never stop learning. Bye now.